and welcome everyone to the start of another video. Now this week, me and Kaylee were supposed to be in the Lake District in Cumbria at a Ho Seasons because a few, well, not last year but the year before, I bought Kaylee um, a birthday gift and it was a surprise holiday to the Lake District. Uh, obviously, with COVID and everything, it kind of got delayed and pushed back to this year. Then a, f a month ago, we found out that we can't actually go because... Kaylee couldn't get the time off work. So, yeah, absolute bummer, absolute ball ache. But this video is inspired by that. And what we're going to be doing is taking a look at our top 10 holiday vlogs and just kind of talking about what we enjoyed about them. Well, I say we, me, Kaylee's currently at work while I'm recording this. Now, I'm going to be breaking this down into a two part video. So, in today's video, we're going to be covering the first five videos from 10 to 6. So, Let's go. So the way that I'm going to be setting this video out is into sections discussing, obviously, the things that we really enjoyed about the holiday. Um, probably a thing that we didn't really enjoy about the holiday. And then I'll also use a little bit of footage from the vlogs just to kind of highlight those points. So, without further ado, let's get started with the 10th spot. In at number 10, our, not, I, won't, I don't want to say our worst holiday, because all of our holidays we kind of enjoyed, but our least favourite, I'll say, was the Carlton Park Hotel. Now, the story behind this was, I bought Kaylee a buyer gift package, which is where you get to pick from, like, multiple different locations, under the cer a certain value of money. And we booked to stay in this hotel, which, which was in Rotherham. Guys, we have just checked in to our room. This is the Carlton Park Hotel room, 419. They actually messed up our order. And uh, we went, I think it was March when we went. Uh, I mean, we did go two times, but we'll talk about why we went the second time afterwards. Um, and we went, it was like a, a, not really a stately home, but it was a very fancy, I say fancy, five-star hotel. And we went, it was a very old-fashioned, very retro, went into the room when it was just like very old styles. It was like leather and red stuff with sequins all over the place. However, more importantly, do we have a Bible? Do we have a Bible? What's this? Welcome to South Yorkshire. And yeah, it was, it was very outdated. Um, we went out a lot, that was nice, went to like, uh, next door they had like a sizzling pub I think it was, and we had some good food there. So cold. But anyway, we're going to go to, the plan was to eat food at restaurant, however, reviews made us change our mind. So, we're then going to a sizzler instead. We took a trip out as well to, uh, Park Gates, we spent the day looking around the shops there. I mean, it wasn't as special as our usual holidays because it was still quite local to us. And the places that we went, we would go like as an everyday occurrence anyway. So it wasn't as special as some of the other holidays that we'll talk about. However, the worst part of this holiday was the fact that towards the end, we wanted to have a nice meal. So we went out to uh, another fancy pub. <laughs> We've gone for the usual, I've gone for South Carolina with garlic, garlic, prawns and a rump steak, chips, all that loveliness. The only problem was, it was the day when we had probably the world's worst snowstorm. I don't think it was the Beast of the East, but we did have a lot of torrential snow. And out we were there eating our food, and every, uh, every so often I just look out and it was just like light flurries. And I looked, I was eating the last bit of my steak, and I looked, and it was literally like white, you couldn't see a thing. And I was like, we should probably go quite quick. Only thing is, it was like um, a meal deal. So we had like a start and main dessert. We still had the dessert to eat. You can't beat garlic mushroom from the sizzler. Chocolate sauce. So we stayed, we had the dessert. I went out and my tires were literally like, I mean, you can't really tell how big that is, but it, they were, they were full on like stuck in the snow. So, luckily I managed to get the car out of the place. The only problem was, it was very cold and the snow was already freezing up into ice. And there was a section where we had to actually drive 
down to get to the hotel and it was an iced up hill and there was like a taxi guy in front of us and he stuck his hazard lights on and when he was driving down this hill he was like he had no control of his car and it was the most scariest driving experience I have ever seen and that was the first worst part of the holiday. The second worst part was the day after. Day after, we got up, went for breakfast. I say breakfast. What breakfast? There wasn't even a breakfast service. So apparently, half the staff, the cooks, the waitresses and waiters and stuff that were supposed to work, weren't able to get in because of this snowstorm. So there was no breakfast service. And we had only stayed there, I think, like two nights or maybe three. Uh, I mean, the breakfast, when it was on, was crap anyway. It wasn't the best. Um, beans were like bullets. And we uh, complained, basically, because although the stay was all right, it was mediocre, we did not appreciate the non-breakfast service. So, yeah, we complained. And they gave us a free trip, which is I went back a second time. And, I mean, it was the exact same. It wasn't any better. Uh, at least we had a breakfast service that time round. And that was it. So, in at number 10 spot was Carlton Park Hotel. Now, in at number 9 was Man and Kay's camping trip to Blue Dolphin. Now, Blue Dolphin is situated in Scarborough. Kind of like the Scarborough way, anyway. And it's a caravan and camping site by Park Dean Resorts. Now, we arrived and it was, it was nice. I mean, I've been before with my parents um, many years ago. And it, it were all right. It, there's not, it, it's not the best compared to other part deans and stuff that we've been to that we may cover in this video. But, it, I mean, it was all right. We had to build a tent on a hill, which didn't really help when you're trying to sleep when you just roll down to the other end. So that was, that was all right. The entertainment was kind of mediocre. There wasn't as much on as other places. <laughs> It's quite small and the only issue with camping which is the reason why a lot of these holidays are quite high in this video is purely because when we go camping we never really go for long enough like you spend the day you put the tent up you spend the rest of the day getting all the stuff out and that's your first day gone and then the same like when you're packing away that's your other day gone plus you have to be off by like 10 o'clock as well so that's never helped but it's a case of just kind of finding things to do. And because of that, it, we always do kind of the same stuff. So we go to Scarborough and look around the shops, go around the promenade, go from South to North Bay and all that type of stuff. But we never really do anything kind of too new. So that's why Blue Dolphin is at the ninth spot because although it was a good holiday, it was very repeated in a lot of the stuff that we did kind of on holidays before Blue Dolphin. So in at number eight is our camping trip to Tamar. Now Tamar was a Park Dean resort situated in Wales. So it was kind of like a different country, different kind of style. I mean, it was a camping holiday, but the reason why this holiday was in front of uh, Blue Dolphin, but then also still quite high on the list, is um, because one, we had the better tent. Two, because it was in COVID times, we the activities were very limited. And because of that, we weren't actually able to go swimming, which really frustrated us. Um, so apparently before we actually book before we actually went on this holiday, we were supposed to book the activities that we wanted to do, swimming being one of those activities. But because we didn't know, we didn't book it, and then turns out all the slots were booked when we arrived, so we couldn't actually go swimming. So that was an absolute pain. Um, but yeah, we um, we went out quite a lot. Um, there wasn't a lot as a set of activities, so we spent a lot of the time walking around the place. Because with it being um, a new location, there was lots of stuff we could do. Uh, I think we, we went out to different kind of actual like, full-on locations, like drive, drive-wise. We also went on like a fun fair as well, which was quite local to the park. And I really enjoyed that. I went on my two favorite rides, the Walser and Extreme Speed.
because we only really went for two nights, we couldn't again really do a lot. So we tried to cram a lot in, but because we crammed a lot in, it spent it, it meant that we couldn't spend time doing those things. So yeah, we kind of rushed our holiday quite a bit. So that's why Tamar is at the eighth spot. So in at number seven is our holiday in Skipsy Sands. Now this was a kind of two-part holiday. Now the, we spent the first week in a caravan and this was a luxury caravan uh, it was one of the newer models compared to what we'd stayed in kind of previously at other parks so it was a lot cleaner it was a lot more modernized and it had a lot of lots of new gadgets and stuff so that was really nice and then obviously the second part of the holiday we spent i think it was two nights in a tent with my uni friends. Who's the so vlog now that you've arrived. Part me tent. <laughs> Part me tent. Talk us through, David. So what time did you arrive at? Uh, what was it? Quarter to nine. Yeah, we arrived at six in the morning. Yeah, that was that. But we'll talk about them both. We'll we'll kind of tie them both in. Um, Skipsy Sands is known for. I say known. I mean, it's known to me as a park that doesn't really have a lot to do. I mean, it's on the edge of a cliff. Half of the parks eroded away. You call them my life. You break the line. I'm falling for you. You're stuck in my mind. Just all the time. I'm falling for you. And yeah, that skips your sounds for you. But in terms of the stuff that was there, they had bingo. Mama, she's a rolling bowling. Papa, he's a holy moly. Wearing crystal bubble chocolate. Uh, they had um, swimming, and that's about it. So yeah, we didn't really do a lot on the park, which is probably the, the downside to it, the fact that it's very limited. Um, but then, oh, and the fact that it's in a very rural location, so you've got to travel miles to get to places. But when we weren't in, oh, like in the park, we would venture out quite a bit. So we went to places like Scarborough, uh, Bridlington, and then Whitby. And Whitby was probably our favourite place to go to because we hadn't been there as frequently as frequently as the other places. So we were had obviously Whitby's fish and chips, which was absolutely incredible. Went to the top of the Abbey, that was a trek and a half. And we also went on uh, like a little ship tour as well, which took us around the, the waters or the like that took us out across the bay. And we got to kind of go sightseeing and there was like a, a voiceover thing talking about the, the historic landmarks. Polos, like like so that was really nice as well. But yeah, Skipsy Sands. Oh, oh yeah, the tent inside of it. So the tent inside of it was interesting to say the least. Um, Obviously, because we had because we had to kind of um, depart from the caravan at well, quite early. It was like ten o'clock in the morning. It then meant that we had the day before the guys came, and the guys came at half nine at night. So we um, we put we checked out, then checked back in, and went to our pitch, put the tent up. It took us three goddamn hours. Uh, found out that we had an issue with one of the airbeds. If you've seen the the vlog, you'll kind of know all this anyway and um, had to go and fix that. Um, set all the stuff up in the tent and then the uni guys came and that was that. Uh, the actual thing, the main activity that we did while the uni guys were with us was we went to Alpamere in Scarborough which is like a new indoor water park and we really enjoyed that so that was pretty good. And then the other highlight of this holiday was uh, the Dancing Dads competition. So every kind of even night of the week, they would host what was called like a, a game show or something. I think it had a certain name. Um, and they'd get like holiday people, holiday makers, I'll say, to kind of go up and, and take part in these kind of game shows. Now, there was one that was called Dancing Dads. And me, David and, and Lucy thought it'd be a funny idea to go up and take part. So we did. And it was one of the greatest experiences that I'll never forget. Uh, me and David was in the final, and we did some absolutely ridiculous dancing, and had to do a duet to the Dirty Dancing song, and that was probably one of my highlights, and will probably be one of the greatest highlights in my life. Oh, beautiful! Thank you. 
think about it, they're always Always doing that same. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, that was Skip Sands in at number seven. Act number six is our Primrose Valley holiday. Now, Primrose Valley was probably one of the most special holidays because it was actually mine and Kaylee's first ever trip away together. Uh, we stayed in a kind of premium caravan. Part of vlog. This, as you can see behind me, is our caravan. It's a standard caravan at Primrose Valley. So, uh, let's give you a tour of inside. It's also a Vista caravan is what they call. Living area! My coat, we have a TV, which we knew we were going to get, but what we didn't know we were going to get is this. Central heating, or a fireplace, and a microwave, which many standard of these caravans you don't actually get. This, uh, these and it was kind of based between Scarborough and Filey. Now, Primrose Valley is a haven site as well, and in the past, I mean, we've both been with our parents to kind of like party and resorts and havens as well, so we knew it had a good reputation, so that was the reason kind of for booking that holiday. Now the only issue was actually the, the first part of the holiday and it was the fact that we had to wait quite a while for our kind of caravan. We obviously arrived when we were supposed to and it turned out that the previous owners, um, someone had a dodgy stomach or something so they had to do a lot of cleaning. Ew. And yeah, so that was the only real issue with the, the actual holiday itself. With it being our first kind of time away together, we didn't really know kind of what to do. So a lot of it was exploring. We spent the day in Filey. I think I think this is the vlog where I found out that Coupland's do the world best cheese straws. I think that is when I found that out. Um, we also went to like Bridlington, where we went on the pirate ship. where I went on the speedboat or all the way around. And we spent a lot of time exploring on that holiday. Um, as I said, we didn't really know what each other liked, so we kind of did that. But it was, it was a great holiday. As I said, it was extra special as well with it being our first one. But yeah, at number six was our trip to Primrose Valley. And there we go, guys. That is it. We have come to the end of our part one of our top 10 holiday vlogs. Now, I will link all the vlogs down in the description below if you do want to check those out. Hit me up in the comments as well. Let me know what your favourite holiday vlog is from those. And let me know if you think I've rated those correctly. But until then, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon for another fantastic video. And until then, guys... Bye-bye.